From the very first day she sets foot inside the Thompson Mansion, the course of her life changes drastically. Because there, Barbarita Ruiz finds love, not once, but twice. And there she'll endure the most difficult moments of her existence. Barbarita is a sweet and modest young woman who works as a seamstress at a renowned fashion boutique in Miami. When she's asked to do a fitting for the well-known society widow, Ricarda Thompson, Barbarita has no clue that this will be the beginning of a tortuous relationship between her and this millionaire family. At the estate, she happens to meet Valentino, Ricarda's oldest son. Single, dishonest, spoiled, and accustomed to always getting his way, Valentino decides to seduce the beautiful Barbarita, who soon succumbs to his charms. However, for the first time in his life, Valentino feels more than physical attraction and discovers that he has fallen in love for real. Going against the wishes of his arrogant mother, who considers the poor seamstress beneath her son in every way, Valentino and Barbarita are married in a quiet, intimate ceremony. However, happiness disappears as quickly as it came for Barbarita. On their wedding night, when the couple sets out on their honeymoon trip, they have a terrible car accident that takes Valentino's life and leaves Barbarita merely bruised. This twist of fate is something that Ricarda Thompson will never forgive. Full of hate and pain, blaming Barbarita for Valentino's death, she convinces her younger son, Antonio Adolfo, to avenge Valentino by playing a cruel trick on Barbarita. He is to court her, seduce, and then abandon her, leaving the young woman totally humiliated. That's how love enters Barbarita's life for the second time, once again bearing the Thompson name. Antonio Adolfo follows his mother's plan to perfection, but along the way he realizes something totally unexpected. Barbarita's kindness, tenderness, and beauty have won his heart, and he's in love, just as his brother had been. Now he too decides to defy his mother and make Barbarita his wife. It seems that Barbarita will finally be happy, until she is faced with an even greater obstacle than Ricarda's rage. Valentino himself, who had faked his death in order to avoid being exposed for embezzlement of the family company funds, and now returns to claim his woman and his fortune. Le llevo el anillo. La 